Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe from Excel by Joe. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the XLOOKUP function to pull data from a daily fantasy sports uh, spreadsheet. Uh, you were probably used to using the VLOOKUP function, which is a very good uh, function, but it has its limitations. With the VLOOKUP, you want to look in one column and then tell it how many columns move over to the right. But if you have data to the left, you can't do that easily with VLOOKUP. The XLOOKUP function is just way more powerful and allows you to pull any column you want. So I'm going to go over that in one second. But before I do, I just want to just give you a heads up that uh, if you want to check out my video course school for uh, daily fantasy sports for using spreadsheets, uh, the, the uh, URL is www.spreadsheetschooldfs.com. I'll have the link on the, on the page and um, right below the video. I just go over, I have many videos to show you how to use spreadsheets to improve your research for uh, daily fantasy sports and improve your lineup picking. And I also have uh, some spreadsheet lineup optimizers at www.optimizelineups.com. So uh, you can check out those links below the video and let's get into this. So we've got this export here from DraftKings of the salaries and say we have the, we want to pull by the player's name, but we want to pull their, their position. Say we have the player's name somewhere. Say, say we have another spreadsheet that has the player's name, and we want to get their position and also their salary. So if we did the VLOOKUP function, we would look up this column C, and then we would say, well, salary is here, one, two, three, fourth. So it's the fourth column. So we would pull that. But we can't pull position because it's to the left. So I'm going to show you how to do it using the XLOOKUP function. So I'm going to start typing it out, equals XLOOKUP. And the first is the lookup value. What's the value we want to look up? We're looking up the, the player name right here. The next is the lookup array. So where do we find this name? We'll find this in column C. I like to click do the whole column instead of just like C2 to C1000. Next is... Say we find this player's name, what do we want what column do we want to pull over? So the return array is for position right here. So it's column A. And then we've got a couple other criteria, which we'll go over in a second, but we don't need all of them. Those are the first three of the main ones you need. Could close the parentheses, and there we go. So Luca is a point guard. As we can see, it went down here and then it pulled the position from here. And if we copy this down, it'll do this for all the players' names. Joel Embiid, center, and so on. Uh, let's do this now for salary. So we do X lookup. What's the lookup array? Still the player's name. What what um, is the look the lookup array here? Actually, there's a lookup value initially. The lookup array is column C, because that's where we're looking up the value. Next is the return array. Since we want salary, we're going to put salary right there, and that's all we need. So we got 11,000, salary, and so on. So we were able to pull position and salary pretty easily, and it eliminates the need for VLOOKUP, and the XLOOKUP is just VLOOKUP on steroids pretty much, more powerful. Let me just go over the – there's a couple other functions on there. Let's say we want um, – so we're pulling up LeBron James. We want to pull a center. We copy the formula down. Oh, NA, there's an error because LeBron James isn't showing up in column C. What we can do is the fourth form, the fourth criteria. So if we click on it, it says, if not found. What do you want to say if it's not found? So I'm just going to type in not found. Press enter. There. So now instead of saying an error, it'll say not found. Or you could have it say whatever you want. You could put in a, a value if you want. But that's uh, a way to get rid of uh, any error messages, and you don't have to put the if error around the, all the, the formula. And the last one is the last criteria is greater than, or like is exact match. See, it's the match mode. So let's go over that. So let's say, for example, we want to pull a player's name based on the salary. Say the salary $9,500. So let's do a, a formula. Say we, we, we would pull the name. 
let's let's put ninety four hundred dollars because that's there's an exact match in there. So I'm gonna let's, I'm gonna write the formula out. So equals x lookup, and what are we looking up? We're looking up the lookup value of this. The lookup array is here because here's where the salaries are. The return array is the player's name, comma. Uh, if not found, we don't care about that. So we're just going to put a comma. So we have two commas. So like there's nothing there. And the final is exact match. So say we want exact match. So it'll be comma zero. So it's going to show, see, it's going to go, it's going to find the first $9,400 and pull in the player's name. We don't even need that comma zero because it, it'll default to exact match. But what if we want to say $9,400, the highest salary that's less than $9,400. So what we do instead of a one or zero, we're going to put exact match or the next smaller item. So if we click that, this becomes a minus one. And it's still showing the same name because it's showing $9,400 because it looks first through the exact match, which is here, and it shows the $9,400. Say if this was $9,300, <clears throat> now it'll show John Collins. Because see, $9,300, there's no exact match, so it goes to the next lowest, which would be right here, $9,100, John Collins. If we wanted above it, we would put a 1 there. And what it does, it's, it finds a 9300 and goes above it to 9400, and then it'll pull uh, pull this player's name in this cell. So that's uh, an overview of the XLOOKUP. It's a lot more powerful than VLOOKUP, and it'll definitely help you in your spreadsheets and getting ready for your DFS lineups. So I uh, hope this uh, was helpful. Again, check out my uh, spreadsheet school at uh, www.spreadsheetschooldfs.com or my uh my lineup optimizers, my spreadsheet lineup optimizers at www.optimizelineups.com. Uh, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.